What's up everybody, welcome back to the Art of Crypto, the birthplace of absolutely legendary gains. In this video, we are going to take a look at Chainlink and this is just going to be hopefully a very, very quick video and not just Chainlink, I'm just going to be discussing a little bit about how the markets are doing today. So if that is something you are interested in, especially if you want to figure out if Chainlink is going to pump or is it going to dump and exactly which levels that I'm going to be paying attention to for Chainlink, you're going to want to watch till the end of this video. But immediately, right before I get into it, if you haven't already followed me on Twitter at underscore the art of crypto, you're going to want to do so. This is where I'm sharing the latest market updates and it's not something that you're going to want to miss out because there are some things that I cannot share on YouTube due to time constraints and it's all going to be on Twitter. So just immediately, immediately right before I jump into Chainlink, let's just discuss a little bit about how the markets are looking like today. At the moment, if you watched that video that I did yesterday, I was saying that BTC dominance is looking pretty bullish and indeed it is. Right now, Bitcoin is going through a little bit of a pump and as you can see, it has already broken my key level which I marked out at 47,400 and at the moment, I do think that Bitcoin is looking bullish and it should fill in this imbalance right here right this is an imbalance in price action pretty much this entire block right here is an imbalance in price action and as long as btc remains to be bullish it is going to try to fill in the imbalance in the price action especially you want to watch for this 0.618 level at 49300 so while bitcoin is going to pump then you know likely people are going to be fomoing into bitcoin and you know you're going to get a pump in bitcoin dominance as well and if you watch my channel for any amount of time you know that i always like to talk about how markets move in phases of expansions consolidations expansion and this is your consolidation at the moment it looks like it's going through another phase of expansion and the next target is going to be at about 41.76 for bitcoin dominance but not all hope is lost because if you just take a look at all two you have already broken out from this pattern right here and this is an extremely bullish pattern in fact if you were looking to get into altcoins this would be a pretty good level to get into altcoins because this is trendline support and as long as we remain bullish we are going to reach for the next point of resistance in my opinion that's going to be 1.3 trillion now this might not seem like a lot in fact if we just pump from there to there that's about like four percent but you have to understand that at the moment we are dealing with a trillion with a T. So just a 4% pump or like a 3% pump on total 2 is going to bring this, I don't know, about 40, 50 billion dollars into altcoins. So it's not any small number that you should scoff at. So now that you understand the state of the crypto markets, let us get into Chainlink, which is what you guys are here for. So Chainlink immediately right off the bat. Now, I would have made a video about this yesterday, but when I called it, it was already too late. Yesterday, I was saying that, you know, Chainlink, once you flip $30 that you're absolutely going to take off and at the moment you can see that once you flipped this key level right this weekly level and when I say weekly level I just mean like going onto the weekly chart and identifying that this level is historically a place where you got rejected by or like just price had some form of reaction on that level and that's how you determine a weekly level and if you have never done that before then it's going to be really helpful to your trading development to mark out some daily levels and some weekly levels these are going to be super strong areas of you know just where price might find a reaction and you can see how many times this has been rejected off of this key weekly level and if you watch any of my previous chaining videos you understand that this level has been here for a while and you know it's not just me like moving around this level it's actually holding pretty strongly as you know support slash resistance at the moment when i say flip right in my private discord group when i say flip i simply mean that previously all of these times chainlink treated 29.5 as resistance and at the moment you can see that we have broke through resistance and came down to find support exactly at that level and this is what you call a flip right you flip support into resistance and at the moment it is looking extremely bullish so for now if you were looking into an entry into Chainlink, here's what I would do. First off, you could absolutely go along here if you wanted to with a stop loss set below this level, right? This this candle right here, notice how it is. I'm dealing with a four hourly chart right now. So notice how the low of this candle is shorter, like lower than the two candles right next to it. So this is gonna be your swing low. And as long as you remain bullish, you are not going to violate any swing lows. And so you could set your stop loss right below that swing low and your TP is gonna be somewhere at about the next key level, which is on the daily chart, or at this point right here at about $34, $32. But at the moment, this is not going to be the best risk to reward ratio. As you can see, it's only one to one, like 1.1 1 .1 risk to reward ratio. So obviously this is not something that would be ideal. So here is your, like here, here's how I would 
look for an entry on Chainlink. First of all, I'm going to mark out this bearish order block over on Chainlink. And I don't really expect this bearish order block to provide much resistance at all because I do believe that Chainlink is looking pretty bullish. If you look at what Polkadot has done, let me just go to Polkadot. I mentioned in my private Discord group that Polkadot is lagging, sorry, Chainlink is lagging behind Polkadot. And I do believe that Chainlink is going to pull something like a Polkadot. And again, look at the key weekly level. Look at where the price dumped, you know, during the liquidation event. And this is just the power of identifying your, you know, your weekly and daily levels. So at the moment, I do think that Chainlink is lagging behind Polkadot. And I do believe that it's going to pull the Polkadot. So it would be reasonable to expect Chainlink to go to $35, maybe $40. So at the moment, you're going to first, right, entry number one, you're going to want to look for Chainlink to get rejected off of this line right here at 32.5. If you are looking for a short, you could go for a short here, like just for a little quick scope, right? What's going to end up happening is price is going to hit here and it's just going to you know get rejected just like one to two percent so if you're a scoper then this is going to be an area of value that you're going to want to pay attention to but otherwise i want you to think of the markets in this way if chainlink were to pump right now remember when i said in the private discord group that once you flip 30 you're going to fly then it would assume like it would be safe to assume that chainlink is going to fly from this point onwards now what i want you to understand and this is how you think ahead during a market right just thinking ahead planning ahead so if Chainlink does pump, then the last bearish candle before this massive move upwards is going to become your bullish order block. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to wait for a retrace. So assuming that Chainlink does go to this level right here, then this is going to be your bullish order block right here. And you're going to want to wait for a retrace back into the bullish order block. And this right here is going to be your entry. So you're going to want to mark down this level at, let me just mark it down for you as the order block entry at about $31, right? At the moment, at the moment, by the time you watch this video, Chainlink might have pumped already, but if it hasn't pumped, right, if it hasn't pumped, by the time you're watching this video, then you're going to want to look to get some chain link at about $29.6. And I actually caught this in my 10K to 100K challenge that I'm doing within the private Discord group. Now, this is where I'm, you know, trying to grow 10K into 10, you know, 100K, like pretty, pretty quickly. I took a one week break from trading, like straight up. And, but just, you know, just from week number one, I've already made about 65%. So that's about 16.5K, so 6.5K in a week with 10K capital. At the moment, you can see that, you know, I told people to buy at 29.6, pretty, pretty spot on. But anyways, this is going to be your first entry, right? If it pumps, it's going to get rejected. And the other way that you could learn to visualize this is if you, let's say, let's say that Chainlink really does go to 32.5 and get rejected, then you can obviously clearly see that the 0.618 level, if you draw a fib from this swing low to this swing top, it is going to fall somewhere within this order block. So you can see why this order block theory works, but if it hasn't pumped, then you're going to want to look for 29.6 ish in order to get your chain link and it's going to be entry number one and for both of these cases you're just going to want to set your stop loss right below at about like 29 dollars or something if you want to play it even safer you could set it at 28.5 which is where i've personally set it and like if you just take a look here yeah stop loss 28.5 so that is going to be entry number one Entry number two is just simply looking for accumulation patterns, right? Consolidation patterns, because I always say that the markets move in phases of expansions, consolidations, right? Expansion, right? Consolidation. So just look for a consolidation and then you're just going to want to buy the breakout, right? Look at this trend line. Once it breaks out, you're going to want to buy along with the breakout or you can buy the bullish retest. Now, both of these entries are going to be extremely safe because you can literally just set your stop loss right below that level, right? So somewhere about there at a previous swing low and doing so is going to be incredibly safe and you're going to be able to take advantage of, you know, all the price movements that happen in the middle. Overall, I am really bullish on Chainlink. So do expect Chainlink to try to reach for $35 and beyond. And in the event that you do or that you are already in Chainlink, then my you know areas of resistance is going to be about 32.5, 34, like 35. Let's just count it as 35, 38, 40.5, 44. Like 44 is going to be pretty key, right? It's a key daily level, 48-ish and 52. And any more above, then I'm going to probably make a new video. But at the moment, I do believe that Chainlink is looking incredibly bullish and it should follow in Polkadot's wake. At the moment, you know, BTC is looking bullish as well. So, you know, maybe the bull market is going to be coming back. And I do hope that you guys are able to take advantage of that. At the moment, if you do feel like you have learned something new or maybe this video has been helpful to you so far, it would help me so much if you could just drop a like button. It's a small gesture, but it really, really helps a lot. 
And as a bonus for watching till this point in the video, I'm actually going to give you more than one bonus trade today. But before I do that, if you've been watching this channel and you just feel like, hey, this guy seems to know what he's talking about, and maybe you want just want to follow along in the 10k to 100k challenge that I'm only doing within the private Discord group, then you're going to want to check out you know, the private Discord group. Over here, you're going to get access to a trading education where I lay down everything that I have learned over the years. And over here, you're going to figure out exactly what works and discard 90% of the things that don't work. Not only that, you're going to get profitable trading setups literally every single day and pretty much real-time market updates over here i'm gonna let you know exactly what you should be looking out for every single day so that you can make informed decisions when it comes to your trading if that sounds good to you then make sure you check it out and let's just say that we have people making money every single day and this is probably going to pay itself off really really quickly especially considering the fact that in just one week of trading i've already made about 70 percent gain on principle and while i have given you just two entries for chainlink if you do want another entry for chainlink i'm gonna link in the top right hand corner another video where i made where you're gonna want to get chainlink at very very key levels of support in the event that this is really the bear market or maybe you get a massive massive correction then you're gonna want to get some chainlink at those levels and i'm not gonna say it in this video because well obviously i want you to go watch my other videos right so if that is something you're interested in in order to you know if you just want to find the bottom for chainlink in the event that you get another one of these liquidation events which i don't think it will be likely because funding rates are looking pretty normal right now but if you do want some sniper sniper entries you're going to want to check out that video that i will link on the top right hand corner and right now let's get into the favorite part of everybody you know who's watching this video and that is going to be the bonus trading setups so the first trading setup that we are going to talk about is rune at the moment i actually called rune in my private discord group yesterday before the breakout right so i called it at this point right here at the moment you're not late because you can see that once it broke out it actually came back down for a perfect perfect retest and at the moment you can literally just get rune anywhere above i don't know 9.1 and you can set your stop loss you know preferably below the swing low or you can set it below this swing low right here me personally i would set it below this swing low and you know the price targets are going to be about you know ten dollars 10.7 11 11.7 12.4 and you know any beyond and you could just mark it down yourselves all right just you know use previous areas of just areas where price really had a rejection or just some kind of reaction off of and that's going to be about 13.5 and 14.8 now personally i would look for the second retest of this trend line right here to show that it has truly flipped this as support right previously this was resistance and you have flipped it into support but otherwise you know any ab any level above this level would be pretty good this is where you would set your stop loss right just right below a previous swing low and those are going to be your tps now as with tps if you watch my videos for any amount of time then you know that i always say you take your profit on the way up because nobody knows exactly where is the top so you're just gonna take you know 25 percent here 25 percent here 25 percent here and leave the rest as a moon bag right? i'm just giving you an example you don't want to be that guy who you know watch watches his charts go all the way up and then all the way back down to stop him out that is not a fun place to be in and i hope that that it will not be you now i actually called yfi the other day but it seems like we are we have already missed this boat so let's take a look at the other one so engine man i called this yesterday as well all right seems that we are pretty late on this one okay there you go this is going to be your second bonus trade of the day and i'm going to give one more so at the moment atom is forming this sort of falling wedge right now remember market moves in phases of expansions and consolidations at the moment this is your consolidation so you're going to want to mark down this level at 34.4 5 ish and you're going to want to buy the breakout of this level right just buy the breakout or buy the bullish retest as i've shown you previously in the two previous examples right when you got when you got the perfect retest so your tps for this is going to be at 35.4 38 40 no, about 40 right 39.75 ish 40.6 41.6 42.8 45.3 and 49.2 again you're going to want to take profits on the way up and at the moment do look for this level right here at 32.4 to hold as pretty good support i always like to say that you consolidate towards an area of support and then you're going to bounce right that's how breakouts work and if you can buy at support i wouldn't recommend it but you could take a risk and buy at support maybe just set your stop loss i don't know three percent down it's up to you really 
And at the moment, this is going to be your last one. This is going to be FTT, right? FTX token. Now, I actually called to buy the breakout in the private Discord group, as you can see right here. Again, if you want these trading setups, like literally in real time, and if you want all the trading setups, including these sniper trades, then you're going to want to check out the private Discord group over here. You are restricted by time. I simply cannot tell you guys in real time what I'm looking at, right? And I do share these setups on my Twitter, right? So if you haven't already followed me on Twitter, make sure you do so and you're going to get access to these setups as well. So at the moment, you're going to want to mark down this level at about 69.5 and you're going to want to look for a retest of this level to get in. Stop loss is going to be below this swing low right here and your TPs are going to be at, in fact, this one, once it pops off, is actually going to pop off like really hard. I've already marked down the TP levels using a Fibonacci retracement from this swing top to this swing low. So the TPs are going to be 76, 82.5-ish, 89, 92, sorry, 93, 97, 102, 112, and about 130. Again, take profits on the way up. And if you watch until this point so far, I just want you to comment down in the comment section bonus so that I know who are the real ones who got the bonus and that they can take advantage of the markets, right? Because the markets are looking pretty bullish. It might be bearish in the immediate like next couple of hours, but overall it's looking pretty good. And a lot of coins are just about to break out. There's a lot of imbalance to be filled, as you can see, like just stuff like Wi-Fi, like absolutely taking off. So just let me know guys, like who are the ones who managed to take advantage of this and you know as you guys know i never disappoint people who watch till the end of my videos so thank you right for real without you guys i could not do the things that i do so i really hope you guys are able to make some good money after these setups just remember that nothing is confirmed until it is confirmed so make sure you wait for confirmation especially on atom for the breakout before you get in but for now though again if you're interested to get access to all the training setups as well as follow along with the 10k to 100k challenge, then you're going to want to check out the private Discord group. But for now, may the gains be away for you, my friend, and peace.